in 2004, when the Congress party at a packed press conference announced that Rahul Gandhi is going to be the candidate from Amethi, there was uh, applause not just inside the press conference room, but within the party as well. We love this country because it has always taught us to love one another. It has always taught us how to remain united in the face of adversity. Rahul's entry into formal politics also meant many young faces also joined. And some of them are like Jitin Prasad, Milind Devra and Jyotra Ida Sindhya and we know all about them. Not everyone had experience, some of them were completely new and some of them were raw. But it infused a fresh energy into the Congress party and gave it hope. And it was shown not just in 2004 but also in 2009. Everything seemed to be fine. But let's cut to the present picture. The energy which we saw in 2004 is almost nowhere to be seen now. In fact, the energy seems to now be concentrated in the BJP as most of the people who were a part of the Rahul Gandhi Brigade are now a part of the BJP. So the question I'm asking you this week on one take is that has the Brigade given up on the Baba? अभी तो और भी लोग आएंगे क्योंकि जब इंसान को उत्तन महसूस होती है तो अपने रास्ता ढूंढता है और इट्स अ वेक अप कॉल फॉर कांग्रेस कांग्रेस से सब कुछ मिला है उनकी योग्यता से भी ऊपर उनको मिला है पर उसके बावजूद वो विश्वासघात किया उन्होंने कांग्रेस से और कांग्रेस छोड़कर चले गए हैं क्योंकि वहां उनको वॉशिंग मशीन दिख रहा है Certainly seems like it. The latest, of course, was Ashok Chavan. Now, I remember Ashok Chavan, a relatively young Maratha from Nanded, a strong leader from Maharashtra. And the Congress always lived to regret the fact that under pressure from the BJP, which was then in the opposition, Ashok Chavan was asked to step down as the Chief Minister. This was in the backdrop of the other scam. I remember at a press conference and in a chit chat we were having with Rahul Gandhi, he made the point that unlike the BJP, we are not like a washing machine. We take strong action against their leaders, though he said that I regret the fact that Ashok Chavan was asked to quit as a CM because there is no case against him. Today, perhaps many in the Congress party are going to be regretting that Ashok Chavan is no longer a part of them. But the ones who are regretting are the ones who are not close to Rahul Gandhi. They are not a part of the Rahul Gandhi Brigade. In fact, they have themselves, like Ashok Chavan, many of those who had this hope that perhaps sometime their time would come. Very quickly, Ashok Chavan was upset with the top Congress leadership and Rahul Gandhi because from a position of being considered to be one of the close ones to him, the place was taken by Nana Patole who came in from the BJP. So Ashok Chavan's supporters and he himself asked this question that if you are accusing me of ideological Ali uh, compromising, then what did you do when you brought in Nana Patole from the BJP and made him the state president? Whereas me, as a tall leader of Maharashtra, was not given that chance despite the fact that I wanted it. But I think behind the exit of Sen Ashok Chavan and Milind Devra, Baba Siddiqui, is a larger worry for the Congress party. Look, ups and downs, exits always happen in every political party. Some of them are big, they carve out a different political party for themselves like Mamata Banerjee did when she created a Trimul Congress and when she left the Congress party and the rest is history. But you know, it's the timing, it's the numbers which start becoming important. And it seems to be a collective of everything going wrong with Rahul Gandhi. First of all, it is in sync with the times of the Bharat Joro Nyayatra. Now we know that the first part of the Yatra was considered to be very successful because it gave him traction. It also helped him dissipate this notion that Rahul Gandhi was a politician who was always in a, on a vacation or in a hurry and disinterested. And because of the fact that he was doing this Padhyatra, there were crowds coming in and the BJP was reacting, you saw that energy after a long, long time in the Congress party. Today, among the so-called Baba Lok Brigade, the only one who you see is Sachin Pilot. It was interesting to see that Rahul Gandhi atop a car where Sachin Pilot was sitting next to him and this is when the Yatra was going through Chhattisgarh. But the, as the Yatra loses its steam, so does the steam seem to be going from the Congress party as well as from the Baba Brigade. 
but what is it that is going wrong why is it that these brigade rahul gandhi's brigade no longer have faith in him you know churning out process always takes place where you don't give up on your original team and each one of them who have quit the congress whether it's rpn or jitin or sindhya or ashok chavan all of them have been making one point the inaccessibility of rahul gandhi the rahul begins by trusting you and if 10 people speak out against us then he tends to believe them he doesn't judge it for himself he doesn't realize that we joined the party and were a part of his brigade because we wanted it because we trusted him and we believed in him and therefore the loss of the original brigade is a blow to rahul gandhi's because when you're down and out it is the people who began your journey with you are the ones who matter they are the ones who possibly could have stayed with him in the end so what is it that rahul gandhi is doing wrong well he's making the same mistake which he has accused many other political parties of ki bhaiya ye jo aapka pradhan mantri hai isne pure desh ko jhoot bola ki ye pichhle varg ka hai ye to pichhle varg ka paida nahi hua tha ye to general caste ka aadmi hai what he accuses the prime minister of of being a one man army or being a one man government increasingly the congress party is becoming precisely that there may be a congress president but everything is about rahul gandhi and when rahul gandhi moves up and ahead with his yatra one of the first things he stopped doing is listening to those he began his journey with sabko pyar se desh mein rehna chahiye milke desh mein rehna chahiye the advice they gave him in 2004 and 2009 which came in handy is no longer something he wants to listen to he wants to listen to what he wants to hear and that is the beginning of the problem and that is why the brigade is losing faith in the baba but what happens next well he comes across as a politician who perhaps was better off being on vacation because at least he gave hope to the others that we can carve a niche for ourselves and a path for ourselves but now a hands on seemingly hands on rahul gandhi means that not many of them are any more having access to him the obsession with the bharat jodo naya yatra is also not going down with many of those who really want to concentrate their energy and their resources and money in preparing for the lok sabha look at the kind of people for example who have been given the rajya sabha ticket is about some of them are asking why imran pratamgadi because he is considered to be close to priyanka gandhi vadra but what has he brought to the table he could not even galvanize the party in uttar pradesh so what was the point of giving him the rajya sabha why not those workers who are down and out who don't get an opportunity the unsung congress workers and the karyakarta what about them so when the brigade is losing its faith in the baba the workers are saying who are we to have any faith with it this is what is the one take all about do given your responses on the social media timeline do you agree that with the brigade turning its back on the baba it's game over for rahul gandhi especially if the electoral results don't turn out very well for him and for the congress party thank you so much for watching